Ghostman Strange Co Croc Atelier is globally distributed mythical dog wolf originating in India as well as Ethiopia. Has the body of an extremely large dog, sometimes as large as a mule. Its head resembles that of a hyena. Has covered hooves and a horse like mane. A tail that resembles that of a lion. Its fur ranges in colour from orangish yellow to brownish black and can include spots or stripes resembling a hyena or tiger. It's sometimes, it's sometimes depicted without teeth but bones used to crush its prey. It has the ability to mimic human speech and uses of power to lure its victims to it, usually by pretending to be somebody in trouble. A creature often uses a voice that the victim recognises. Times when it calls the victim by a name or includes other personal information, it's cry for help. Has an, it has no unusual vulnerabilities or powers. Though resilient into damage, it can be overcome by conventional weapons. It can survive any type of climate or terrain as long as there is plenty of food available, but are most often found in areas where herd animals like sheep, cattle, or deer are plentiful. They often make their lairs in caves or abandoned buildings. Because it's so rarely encountered in modern day America, M. False have been not been able to determine very much specific information about the creature's life cycle and habits. Appear to have an animal like level intelligence and their memory key seems to be similar to that of a parrot, have the ability to mimic voices known to the victim, in some cases use the victim's name or other personal information, leads researchers to believe the creatures have been some rudimental form of telepathic ability. While a crocodilia will and do eat humans, they often equally satisfied with other human forms of meat and do not go to go to unusual lengths to find human prey. It's been reported that it appeared more than once in the Roman era arena, according to Augusta history, Pius X R nine, the Emperor. Antonius Pallas presented a quadrilla, probably at the Desertia in AD 148. Historian Cassius Deo, LXXXVII.13 to 5, credits the later, later emperor, emperor Sayer Sererus for bringing a quadrilla to Rome, saying the Indian species was then introduced to Rome. For the first time, as far as I'm aware of it, but the colour of the lioness—it has the colour of a lioness and a tiger combined, and the general appearance of those animals. Also, a dog and fox curiously blended. Later posterities of the Middle Age confirmed in the various accounts that one finds largely mythical creature given differing names and various characterizations, a real imaginary. Among the characteristics not found in ancient source was the idea that the animals of Quachia were striped gems that give the possessor Orerican or powers and placed under the, the tongue. I mean, even though it's a mythical creature from India, it had to have at least have some form of real life. Otherwise, it would have. What would the Hindu base it on? If he, if if he in accounts, Penny and his work on national history, V I I, dot seven two and one o seven, variously described, variously described a criteria, combination between dog and a wolf, or behind or between a hyena and lion, of the hyena Penny. Writes its popular belief to be the hepaphrodite and become male and female in alternative years, and the female bearing offspring without any male, and that among the shepherd's heads, heads homesteads it stimulates human speech. It picks up the name of what 
and then so it can call him to come out of the doors and tear him to pieces. Also, it imitates the person being sick to attract the dog so they may attack them. That this animal alone digs up corpses that a female is seldom caught. His eyes have fowls and variations of colour, and moreover, then when its shadow falls on dogs, they're struck dumb as certain magic acts by which it causes every animal at which it gazes three times to stand rooted at a spot when crossed with this race of animals, the Phoebean lioness gives birth to the cocotria that mimics the voices of men and cattle in a similar way. It is an unbroken ridge of bone in which in each jaw, forming a continuous tooth without any gum. Piffy, a P P I P L I N Y V I A I seventy two dash seventy three also writes another hyena like creature, the Locutria L E U C R O T T L E U C R O T O C O T T A, which he calls the swiftest of all beasts, about the size of an ass and the str- shag's hunches, a lion's neck, tail, and beast, badger head and cloven foof, 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 hoof, uh, mo- mother mouth opening right back to the ears, ridges and bone in places of breath and rows of teeth. The animal is reported to imitate the voices of human beings, a preferite, scholar Pervius, assume it, if, if, so, empathizing an ancient work by the Greek author, Sirius Korea L. Writes in fear, is an animal called Cotrias, vaguely called Co- Ki K K Y N O L Y C K A S Cryolocus Dog Wolf Amazing strength it's said to imitate the human voice to call men by a name in night devour those who approach it is brave as a lion, swift as a horse, as strong as a bull, cannot be overcome by any weapons of steel. Cochia was mentioned in the works of Saburo, Piffy, and other ancient scholars, where they are typically reported as originating in Ethiopia. The creatures also appears in a number of medieval bestiaries. Most cockroach sightings in the U.S. have been in western states, especially Texas and Oklahoma.